Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system to do from the user Luna3G. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what they have sent in, to, in for us today. So this uh, system is called the Polar System. It's on the workshop so I've just downloaded it just now. So it should be here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what they have got for us here. So, come on game, right. This is the polar system. It is a system of 10 planets orbiting around a white main sequence star. Okay, cool. Right, next. Whoa, okay, we've got reading. Lots of reading. Okay, so the star itself. So polar, let's have a quick look at your stats. So as we can see, yeah, larger than the sun in all of its stats. Double the luminosity. Cool. Right. So the first of the planets. Okay, so he Hef Astus. Hey, they've actually let me... They've actually... um. Yeah, they've actually put how to say it. So this, uh, yeah, they must be a watcher of a lot of these because yeah, you, if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that the names you guys put, I have not got a clue how to pronounce them sometimes. So yeah, they're giving us a little help in hand here. So very, very nice indeed. Okay, so Hephaestus or he Hephaestus is a molten world that is slowly evaporating away. It's silicate layer. It has small patches of an unknown green substance. Hey, nice. Okay, cool. Could be some sort of acid, something like that, maybe. So you can see it's losing until it's dangerously close to its star as well. Wow, we okay. So next up, we got Lilf, a blazing hot desert world where oceans of lava cover the surface and black clouds block the polar's light from the surface. Okay, there it is. So it's looking quite a mean looking world there, quite similar to maybe Venus in some aspects, but obviously, um, a lot more lava going on there. So there it is. Cool. So next up, we got Mishu over here the boring planet of the system it is a gray dull sizzling hot planet that has a lot of iron okay so we can see some similarities between this and mercury so this is the mercury of the system then so the boring generic gray rocky planet so there it is next up we have got okay so shinderu over here okay so let's hop to it okay so it looks like it's a handful well it's a little warm though actually 90 degrees okay so yeah, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty hot. The original homeworld of the dwellings of this system. Ah, so they put the original. Uh, as the star got older, the planet got hotter and hotter. The water started boiling away, and only a small percent of life remains on this planet. It used to be binary with um, Achilles, which is the next planet out. But as we can see, yeah, it, it looks like it was Earth-like at one point. Obviously, you can see. If we look underneath the atmosphere and clouds, there's not much going on left. There's a few patches of uh, green, but most of it is all sort of burnt away. Obviously, not much ocean left. Very, very small patches of water. So this planet's time is limited. I do quite like the uh, high amount of clouds. It does sort of show a bit of a greenhouse effect going on. So maybe eventually, as it does get hotter, maybe it'll turn a little more Venus-like and it'll start to get that sort of sulfuric uh, atmosphere going on. Maybe, maybe it'll start to appear like that in the future before all the water... Uh, completely evaporates away so maybe that's the sort of destiny that this planet will have so yeah pretty cool and then next planet out or next moon we have a moon i should say so this is a uh, kyodai hope i'm saying that one right um but yeah there it is cool right so here it is so yeah this planet here so uh, shinderu this used to be in a binary with Achilles, which is this planet here okay so what's happened to this okay so Achilles, a super toxic world with acid rain oh um, it used to be in a binary with uh, Shinderu, but it was ejected. It had two moons, but one had collided with the planet, making it very toxic. Okay, so if we're looking underneath, very, very sort of a uh, default-looking surface, but the clouds and the toxic sort of green going with it does look pretty nasty. And it also has one moon as well over here. Cool. So there it is. Okay, so now moving out. So I'll just put the zone on as well. So as we can see, that's obviously all in the red. But if we move to the next planet, so... Um, Saikotsu, the current home world of the dwellings. So we can see it's on the edge of the red area here. Cool. Right, so here it is. So this is the current home world. As we can see, a lot more lifelike than uh, Shinderu was. Okay, so the current home world of the dwellings in this system. It has a huge ocean spanning the planet and flat grasslands with large mountains. It has two moons, Aniki and Emoto. Okay. Cool. So here it is. Yeah, very, very nice Earth-looking world. Nice blue, got loads of green on it. We'll check the stats on this guy. 95 and 77, some very good stats there. We look underneath the atmosphere and clouds. There's a better look at the surface. And ocean. So there it is. Nice. And obviously city lights to boot with it as well. Nice uh, set of city lights. Awesome. So there it is there. And then obviously two moons. 
We've got Anarchy over here. And then the other moon was uh, Moto. Emoto. So there it is. Cool. Nice. I like it. This is cool. Uh, I do always like a bit of reading, as you guys know. So that's cool. Okay, so next up we have got Shin Sekai. A new world for the dwellings of the system. It was recently terraformed and now the planet is exploding with life. So here it is. Ah, okay, so another life-like world. Um, it was recently terraformed and now the planet is exploding with life. It has the most moons in this system, uh, but they were only large asteroids. Okay, looking at the stats as well, 83 and 47. So not as good as the previous one, but obviously it is a more recent uh, colonization here. And obviously just a bunch of asteroid moons. I mean, we won't really highlight over these, but yeah, there they are. So they don't even actually have names, as you can see, so they are very, very generic. But yeah, there, there's some of the asteroids. So, cool. So there's that world. Uh, no city lights on it just yet, so they're still working on that. Okay. So next up, we have got Kion. So over here. A frozen world with huge frozen oceans. Scientists say there is um, likely a lot of marine life under the thick sheet of ice covering the oceans. Here we are. It's got a bit of a... Uh, oh, we got a bit of a... Uh, eclipse going on as well so there it is obviously very very frozen up so it's more like a it's almost like a super version of europa with the frozen ocean but it does have an atmosphere on it as well nice so if we're looking at the stats here 38 but no life likelihood as we know it so there it is there and also has a moon as well so here it is giving it a uh, nice eclipse at the moment so that's uh pretty pretty cool nice so there is that then moving on okay so we have a purple world here what is this okay a very purple and fun world well it's not so fun actually the atmosphere is so toxic it's even more toxic than um oh yeah the ones over there people say if you breathe the elements in the atmosphere of this planet your lungs will explode Ooh, that doesn't sound very nice so very very toxic purpley world there yikes yeah yikes indeed so this there it is no moons all alone out here and then lastly we have got this planet here. And yeah, that other one's name was uh, Marasik Eno. Marasik Eno. Hope I'm saying that right. And then lastly, we have got Urn Aquiti. Urn Aquiti. So it's the only gas giant in the system. The last planet in the system, also the only gas giant and ring planet. It has a nice golden cream look to it. The second moon, um, Katsuki, is known as the Frozen Underworld or the World of Blood due to its deep red clouds and deep red surface. So is that the one with the red trail by any chance? Yep, here it is. There you go. So it's a thick atmosphere like Titan, as you can see, and very, very mysterious underneath. It's like a red version of Titan there. And then over here, we got Fida, which is here. Cool. Okay, and that is everything. That's all of the reading done. But there's one more thing I notice in the system. What is this trail? Has something been ejected? What is that trail for? Are we missing something? What, what, what exactly is this trail trying to spot what that is is it this thing here no it's just a cloud what is this trail for that's what i want to know what is that so if we have a look here so there's all of the objects so yeah i think we visited all of those so i'm not sure what this trail's for interesting yeah what is that trail for is it the star maybe I, no that can't be the star no idea what that is there must be something that was here at one point but not anymore so if we just click here yeah, it appears to be everything. Um, yeah, it appears to be everything uh, here. My guess is that trail is one of these asteroids that's been ejected, maybe. Ah, there it is. Yes, it is. So it's just an asteroid, but yeah, I did spot it. So uh, an escaped moon leaving the system. But yeah, there we are. So getting a full lineup of this system. i got to say I enjoyed it. Quite a nice, short and sweet one. Plenty of reading. Obviously, reading always gives it a whole extra sort of feel to the system, a whole extra backstory. We always like those, and I hope you guys... um watching ever enjoyed it as well yeah i always like a bit of a read so if you guys would like to send in your own simulations definitely put a bit of reading in because we do like reading it just gives us so much more personality to a system i think just so much makes it so much more unique so if you want to submit a system i'd highly recommend doing that because um it's cool i really really do like it and yeah i really really like the backstory of this one as well i think it was cool so um yeah there we are but yeah that system was submitted by the user luna 3 g so a massive thank you to them for sending in their system and yeah guys like i said if you'd like to send in your own systems for this series make sure to join my discord server link in the description and then make sure to upload your systems either by link or just drag the file um, into the us2 simulation submissions chat and then yeah i'll get to it um once i get through the list because there's still quite a lot to uh, get through but yeah i'm slowly making it there so yeah there we are but yeah if you want to see more of these guys stay tuned 
subscribe for more helps on the journey to 24,000 subscribers and with that all said and done yeah make sure you leave a like as well let's even go for 40 likes on today's video guys and yeah with that all said and done make sure you all have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye